Another record number of new COVID-19 cases in Ontario as the province's top public health officials release new data showing this virus could spread even faster unless more is done right now. So does that mean it's time to shut everything down? Well, there's no easy answer to that question. It's clear that discussions are happening. Ontario's top doctors are sharing modeling that predicts the province could see as many as 6,500 new COVID-19 cases a day by mid-December and that greater restrictions need to be put in place. The, uh, you know, as, you, as you let off, if the goal is to reduce the number of cases and the goal is to reduce the impact on the health system, then yes. Dr. Adelstein Brown says Ontario's most vulnerable are already experiencing a second wave of mass deaths. We've now tripled uh, the mortality that we reported over that uh, in that first briefing that took several weeks to accumulate. Uh, it's now uh, 71 deaths in the past seven days. This comes after criticism from the province's chief health protection officer who said the province's thresholds were too high, a concern Dr. Shelley Deek says fell on deaf ears. That is just totally inaccurate and I'm a little disappointed uh, on, on that note, but that's one, one doctor's perspective that sits on the disease prevention table. Public Health Ontario issued a statement following Premier Ford's news conference saying they stood by the comments of Dr. Deeks. But epidemiologist Dr. Prabhat Jha suggests it's tough to understand what went into a certain government decision. If some people's suggestions are rejected, that doesn't mean that government did listen to experts. They probably made a judgment that uh, certain higher levels of testing were tolerated. Nevertheless, the Premier says everything, even government initiatives, can change. Nothing in this pandemic is concrete. Nothing stays the same as you know, and, and this is very fluid. It just moves uh, like rapid fire, and when it moves, we move with it. Andrew Horvath has an idea. She wants the government to lock down hotspot cities. Move, uh, you know, as quickly as possible to a, a circuit breaker, uh, two week, you know, uh, response for all of the hotspot locations. Several European cities are in the middle of their second lockdown. A move, Dr. Jha says, isn't a silver bullet. How do you control that? I mean, this idea that you have a lockdown in some places and people will move elsewhere, uh, it's not really practicable. These are very crude tools to say, oh, we're going to go after uh, gyms and uh, indoor cinemas and theaters and so forth, and they need to be thought through. How can you measure the, the depression, the mental health of businesses and the owners when all of a sudden they go belly up? Dr. Jha suggests that increased testing, uh, contact tracing, and wider use of the COVID-19 app offers a more logical roadmap to crushing the virus.